All right, how are we sounding out there? Sounding good. Can I get thumbs up on the on Facebook? Oh, Facebook is way behind Zoom. That is totally fine. All right. <sighs> okay. Whew. All right, that was fun. We still need to get warmed though. We are going to warm our, uh, we just, you could only really see my lower body there, so we're gonna warm the upper body now. And let's play another song. And let's warm up the upper body. I was blue, just as blue as I could be. Hopefully we're feeling good now. 
and not too out of breath. All right. Um, how's the sound? Everything sound okay? The uh, music sounds good? All right. Cool. Thanks. All right. Um, we're going to do two exercises. We're going to do some jazz steps, and we're going to not talk as much as possible, and we're going to dance to music as much as possible. So for this first exercise, we're going to practice our pulsing. And I know a lot of people love to kind of think about different ways to think about pulsing to make it work. And we all kind of talk about groundedness and, you know, how much spring we should have in ourselves. But I had an experience recently that uh, kind of made it all make sense to me. So I want everybody to go and grab an object of some kind. I'm going to grab a pillow, um, something like the size of a couch cushion, and it's not too heavy. So, I got my pillow. Everybody got something like this. Could be a stuffed animal, a piece of fruit, a big old squash, a pillow. Uh, pillows work great. When you are holding your pillow like this, and in my case, it's when you're holding a baby, because I have a three month old, and uh, when I'm holding a baby and I'm trying to calm her down, trying to get her to go to sleep, I wouldn't go like this. I would probably go like this. I'd be like, settle down, settle down, put the baby to sleep. Make sense? So we're, we're just going to put our babies to sleep and we're going to pulse. And it's kind of fitting because my baby is currently asleep and I have no idea how she's staying asleep through this. It's really impressive. Um, so I'm going to throw on a song. We're going to practice our pulsing. And again, just like I said, it's going, the pulse of Lindy Hop goes down into the ground not up from the ground, down into the ground. So we're going to hold a baby and calm it by bouncing it down into the ground like this. Not in a way that's going to wake it up, a way that's going to put it to sleep. Here we go. Music. Laura, I love that you got your cat. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. I totally love it. All right. Yes, like Megan said, ridiculous, and we love it. So we're going to do the same thing, same song. Let's lose our object. Let's get rid of it. We don't need it anymore. We're going to practice that same pulsing feeling without the visualization of having a calmed baby in your arms. And this time we're going to calm ourselves into the groove of the music. Here we go.
All right. All right. We're all feeling good? Thumbs up, people in the video. I love it. Awesome. I love everybody who's on video. I love your energy. This is great. Thank you all for coming. Okay. Um, that idea, again, we got the pulsing. Then when we're walking around with it, that was a surprise because that is the first jazz step of today is walking. And it really is that simple. Anyone can dance because if anybody can walk, you can dance. So I'm going to give you, I'm going to reposition the camera back to the floor so you can see my lower half. And we're going to think just a little bit more about our pulsing and what that looks like while we're walking. And I want to encourage you to walk with your, a whole weight shift on every single step, as opposed to sort of putting your foot out in front of you and then putting your weight down. So like this, as opposed to this. Walk on it, pulse on it. Boom, boom. All right, so let's do that. Throw on the music. Last 40 seconds of the song. So that's our first jazz step of the day. Awesome. We are going to focus on our jazz steps and we're going to focus a little bit on our um, active listening, is what I called it. And so you should always be active listening to the music because um, jazz is improvisational. So you must improvise or it's not jazz. We're not doing jazz. We're not improvising. So in order to do that, you... Um, are going to have to listen. You have to really hear the music. Um, so we're going to practice active listening. We're going to practice our pulsing and our first jazz step, which was walking. And here's what I want everybody to do. I'm going to play a song. We're going to walk. We're going to pulse. And then at some point during the song, take a break from what you're doing. Come over to the screen and write in something about the music that stands out to you. It could be an instrument. It could be a feeling, an emotion. It could be uh, anything you want. Maybe just the singer's really good. Maybe you really hear the drum beat. Or maybe uh, you don't like that song. That's legit. <laughs> Whatever it is you want to add, just go ahead and write it into the chat so I can see it. And uh, we'll all kind of share that common experience that is our music today. Let's slow down the tempo a little bit. And we're going to play this song right here. We're going to practice our walking. And we're really going to pay close attention with our ears to the music.
Anything can run you do Like shining a window But you ain't got no window So you just picture a window And boogie Slow and easy boogie Now you've got a jack boogie In the mellow track boogie Dig it coming back Bim bam skim scam jim jam rum Good out there. Awesome. All right. Uh, oh, someone else. Symbols. Awesome. Yes, lots of people saying symbols. That's great. Repetitions. Fantastic. For sure. Playful. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Anybody adding anything on Facebook? Doesn't look like it. That's all right. That's quite all right. All right. Thank you all for joining us, by the way, Facebook or Zoom, whatever it is that's going on. Thank you. Okay. Um, yes, clear rhythm, for sure, for sure. Makes it easy to dance to, makes it really easy to sort of pick up on what's going on. I, uh, when we're improvising, it's really important to take the time at the beginning of the song to have something to latch onto in the music, something just like that. So before you dance, whenever you're dancing improvised, it's really important to take as long as you need, right at the start of the song, to listen, and then as soon as you got something that you can kind of cling to, then let's cling to that thing. Okay, let's do a jazz step. Um, all right, I need some music. Okay, so we're gonna take that rhythm from the cymbals, since that was what was standing out, and we're gonna do a jazz step that matches that rhythm. I'm just gonna show it and uh, follow along as best you can. Here we go. Not that one.
So that music, just a moment ago, was Jen Hodge. Really wonderful album. Really great music. I don't know who's playing guitar on that track, but they're wonderful. Okay, could I show it from the back? Yes! Yes, I can. Let's show it from the back. Andre, that's hilarious. All right. Yes, awesome. Okay, great. Did anyone notice uh, two things? Did anybody notice how long I took at the beginning of the song before I started showing it? Did anybody feel awkward during that time? Yeah, all right. That's great. Good to know. Okay, yes, exactly. It should take an awkward amount of time. It was a lot of my butt. I know I'm so deeply sorry for that. I shouldn't subject anybody to that much of my butt. Um, <laughs> but uh, um, I really want to uh, get used to the idea that actively listening to the music takes a long time. It takes a while to get into the feeling of the music and hear what kind of energy is happening to you. So um, something that you should do your homework, something you'll do on your own, is listen to music, and just hear something, and then like we did before, just come up with a word, something you can grab onto, and then start dancing to it. And like, take as long as it takes, take as long as, it, as you need before you get there. In my class, you can never take too long. I never get at students if they are standing there for three minutes waiting <laughs> to hear something in the music. Um, so, do that. Okay, second thing. Did anybody recognize the rhythm of the step at full time? So we did the step fast. Everybody recognize the rhythm. The rhythm is the same rhythm as the cymbals typically are in a swing tune. So it goes and I'll just do that with the step. If anybody recognizes that step as well, it's in every triple step. Yes, exactly, Vir Virginia, it's in every triple step. So, when you're doing partner dancing, step, step, triple, step, two. All right, so, without music on, uh, I'm gonna do that, and then everybody, I want you all to do either that step or a triple step. And I want everybody to sound it out as well. Everybody make the noise. I can't hear you, so I just have to trust you. Make the noise. Let's all do it together.
Are you making the noise? Because if you're not, I'll be very disappointed. Won't be mad, I'll be disappointed. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's dance to music. We have three steps now. We're gonna do another one, I promise. We have three steps. We have our corkscrews, the heely steppy, that's one. Um, no, that's okay, that's okay, I can use the chat. I would be too distracted. I'm already too distracted by my own face. <laughs> Thanks, Andre, though. Um, I, uh, okay, so, see, I'm so distracted. What was I talking about? <laughs> we are going to do our three steps, walking, our hi-hat cymbals step that we just did, and our triple steps. And we're going to do that to a whole song. And on this song, uh, I'm going to improvise between the three of them, and I don't expect you to follow me exactly. You should do the steps in your own order, but we're just going to keep to those three steps. Walking, the uh, step, and triple steps. All together with some music. Here we go.
Can I get uh, some thumbs up from everybody in the video? If that felt good? Sweet. Can I get like an exclamation mark in the chat? <laughs> yeah. All right. And let's just take a quick check of the Facebook. All right, awesome. <sighs> can you do jazz steps? Of course you can. Can you do jazz hands? Yes, of course you can. Of course you can, Anne Marie. Thank you for joining me. All right. Um, <laughs> question mark. Thank you, Greg. All right. So let's do a new step. Yes? New step. All right. We're going to throw on some music and we're going to do it. We're just going to jump right on into it. on your feet comes a snowstorm you can get a little heat comes love nothing can be done comes a fire firemen come to my rescue blow a tire you can patch the inner tube comes love nothing can be done Hide yourself behind the door. Comes love, nothing can be done. right away comes love nothing can be done comes the measles you can quarantine the room comes a mousy you can chase it with a broom comes love nothing can be done that's all
Yes. Thumbs up, exclamation points. I would love to see him. Sweet. All right. Awesome. All right. Okay. Cool beans. So, we just have about 10 minutes left, so we're going to do the craziest thing. We're going to improvise. We're going to improvise dancing. And I invite you all to not confine yourselves by the steps that we did in class today. However, if you have no idea what to do, if you're totally at a loss and there's a thousand jazz steps that you could possibly do, revert back to the ones we did today. You already have at least four now, four in your repertoire. So just grab one of them and do that. Otherwise, you're free. You are free to improvise. Be fruitful and multiply. Uh, sound good? Everybody up for this? Good. Good, good, good. Because jazz is improvisational. So get used to that idea. It's an improvisational art form. You must be improvising. Like when you're social dancing or like when you are doing your solo jazz. Yes. Hashtag improv respect. Thank you, Megan. <laughs> Bringing back a, an old Lindy Hop debate from, from back in the day that I was definitely on one side of very clearly. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're going to play some music, and we're going to dance freely and openly, and the best part about it is, there's nobody watching. So, you're not going to embarrass yourself, because there's nobody watching. I'm not even watching. I can see all of your videos, the three of you who are still on video with me, but I'm, I'm dancing. I'm not watching you. Um, so, there's nobody watching, so there's no need to feel self-conscious about your improvisation. There's no need to feel nervous. Um, Dance like literally no one's watching, because literally no one is watching. So, let's do this all together. Here we go, with a little music. And then remember as well, at the beginning of the song, to take the time that you need at the beginning to hear the music, find something in the music you can grab a hold of before you start dancing, and then when you feel like you've got that thing, then go ahead and start dancing. Thumbs up, exclamation points. All right, thank you all for joining me so much today. This is fantastic. Um, all right, let's play some music.
great job, everybody. <sighs> when are we social dancing again? I'd like to keep this in mind. Yes, exactly. When we are social dancing again. Thank you, Mary. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna catch my breath. But anybody have any observations from from uh, improvising on your own? That's cool. That's cool. <sighs> <laughs> It's really hot in here too. Fast versus slow, absolutely, for sure. All right, we're just about out of time. So we're just gonna do one more song. And again, we're just gonna trombone slides. Very good for slow moves, absolutely. And you know, it's great that you're listening that closely to the music that you can hear those happen. So a lot of the time, a lot of people will dive straight into dancing and they forget that there's actually music happening that has its own feelings and its own rhythms. You know, the music is more than just a metronome. It has to be. I tried hard to listen, but I had trouble finding a pattern. And you know, that's totally okay, Lisa. That's totally okay. That happens to everybody. That happens to me a lot, too. It, like, it takes me, like, sometimes I'll hear a song, and everybody will be just wailing to it. Be like, what a great song. And I'll be like, uh. <laughs> Asking myself, which moves are appropriate to tempo? Oh, I see. Yes. Good question, Aaron. Um, which moves are appropriate to tempo? Some moves make sense on fast music. If the move is physically demanding on a slow tempo, it's probably not the right move, uh, if that's fair to say. There's some move, like dancing should be physically demanding, but if it's like one move that's really like killing you, <laughs> maybe try that on like a faster song um, or vice versa. That's just a very simplistic answer anyway. Okay, let's do a song because we've only got three minutes left. So let's do a song. Let's dance to some music. Everybody get up and dance. Uh, I will be dancing right here with you. We're going to have a great time. It's going to be awesome. Thumbs up if you're having a great time. Exclamation points if you're having a great time. Yes, that's what it's all about. If you're not having a good time, don't do it. <laughs> right on. Okay. Music, 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 music. a visitor. Oh, there's a visitor. 
You guys remember the exercise at the very beginning with the pulsing? I wouldn't dare pulse up into the air with this in my arms, no way. <laughs> yeah, this is my daughter, Alora. Okay, last couple things. That last song is by the Shirt Tail Stompers. And you can get the, their album for free on Bandcamp right now or by donation. And I also really want to encourage all of you to support Cat's Corner uh, during this time. Um, it's a tough time for every dance studio out there. So big thank you to Megan for putting this on. Thank you, Anais. Thank you, everybody at Cat's Corner. Um, it's really good to be back. I really miss you all so much. And um, I can't wait to get back and visit sometime. Um, but yeah, please go and donate to Cat's Corner. Go support them. And if you wish as well, we have dances at Sugar Swing, uh, which is the... Uh, studio out here in Edmonton every Saturday at 8 o'clock Mountain, which is 10 o'clock Eastern. Um, so you can join us at our dances if you like. Um, there's a Zoom link on the Sugar Swing website, and you can also support Sugar Swing so that there are dance studios to dance in when uh, this is all over. Megan! Thank you, Turlock. I'm going to turn off the live feed. Thank you.